I want to uh, tell you just briefly a little bit about uh, what we see in, in China and in Vietnam. This is something that I was just thinking about this morning because of, obviously, we're all thinking about what does this mean for the Southeast Asia? You now have this great rising power that is coming into greater confrontation with its neighbors. What is driving it? Why are they making the decisions they're making? And I'll just tell you briefly that there is, on the ground in China, there is a, a, a homegrown nationalist movement. It is the real thing. They really believe that they deserve to stake out this greater position. But I think sometimes we should be, we should think a little bit about why it is that they're joining these protests, why it is that the young Chinese people will join a demonstration. And oftentimes it's opportunistic, because if you go out and you, and you spend time with these young protesters, you say, well, well, why are you here? Eventually what you discover is that they have a lot of complaints. You know, they complain about the fact that the economy is slowing down and they can't find the kind of jobs that they want, or they complain about the fact that houses are too expensive and they can't afford a house. And they can't protest on those things. You're not allowed to protest on those, but you are allowed to protest on the subject of Japan, for instance, or on the subject of Vietnam and the Philippines. And so they join that. And it was a Chinese professor friend who said to me once, he said, you know, you Americans, and he was joking, but he said, you know, you Americans, you always get it wrong on one thing. He said, you think that the buses that are disgorging these students at the front of the Japanese embassy, you think that that's because they've been put up to it, that they wouldn't otherwise be protesting. He said, no, no. the reason why they are busing them to the protest is that if they allowed them to walk, they might get distracted along the way and remember all the other things they want to protest about in China. <laughs> 